Hello and welcome to Yam Sports. As boxing fans may know, one of the biggest fights of the year is coming up on December 1st. Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder for a version of the World Heavyweight Championship belt. In this interesting exchange, Tyson Fury, a confessed born-again Christian, scorches Deontay Wilder on the topic of spiritism and ancestral spirits. Take a look. But when that night of that fight comes, you're not going to be talking to Deontay Wilder. You're not going to be looking in the eyes of Deontay Wilder. Who am I going to be looking in the you're eyes of? You're going to be looking in the eyes of the bronze bomber. You're going to feel him as well too, just like the feeling that you feel him now. Is it's that the, like an alter ego or something? Or is it a... a is a, it well alive? Is it like a spirit that comes into you or what is it? I mean, it could be an alter, it, it can be an alter ego, it can, it can be a spirit, I, I, you know, it may be an ancestry spirit. Who knows? I'm part of Nigerian I don't, as well I don't too. believe in all that stuff at well, all. I do. Because That's Jesus the... Christ is my saviour and I don't believe in all spirits and alter egos. And even mentioning stuff like that on TV, you're getting it. And, and, Honestly. And that's a... That's the difference if God is with me, me and you. nobody can be against me. And if you're entering spirits and stuff into your body, you can't win. You've already lost. You can't beat me. This is not your time. Your it's time my may, time. Your time may come, but this is not your time. You may think it's your time. You may feel like it's your time. But it's not your time, Tyson. This is my time. Definitely and it not. will forever be my time until I retire. I'm sorry to tell you that because I speak it, believe it, receive it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. And it's mine. Let me tell you, all that stuff you just said, you're already beat. Believe it. Anyone who has to have Believe an alter ego it. and not be themselves in there real. and trying to get in someone's mind like it that, is. I'm not you trying to can't get in beat mind. me. It's and if I'm not illusion. talking to Deontay Wilder, let me talk to the other person you inside you, the bronze bomber. You, I'm not trying to get in You're looking at a man who stands in the light. I, don't want you I to can't be beat by any alter egos. I don't want you to feel me. I can't be beat. I don't want you to. You ain't never felt power like mine. You never felt power yes, I have power like mine. You've never seen power like mine. You're like a little in the you ain't got no power. But when you power feel in what? It. I felt the ultimate power from above me. When you feel the power it. I'm feeling nah, for you, you is negative. You negative energy. That. You ain't felt that because you're I told you a long time ago I'm going to baptize you. Yeah, well, let's see if you and can I'm gonna baptize show you me. Every, I'm going to put the spirit inside of you. 100%. I don't and want I'm gonna show you how it feels. You claim, I don't want. It's going to be your God against my God. Time and time again. And we're going to see, may the best man win in everything. But 100%. I guarantee you, that right there, at the end of the night, it came with me, and it leaving me. Let's be clear, I'm not trying to pass off Tyson Fury as the poster boy for Christianity, and Deontay Wilder as a servant of Satan, and this boxing match as a matter of good versus evil. However, I did enjoy Tyson's refutation and rejection of ancestral worship, and proclamation of Jesus Christ as the highest power of all. Showdown between the pair takes place on the 1st of December at the Staples Center Los Angeles for the WBC World Heavyweight Championship. It's all from Yam Sports today. Stay close to Christ.